we go. Yo, 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 what up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Talk Serial. We're talking splat, we're talking Klasky Chupa, but we got a special guest coming. We got our theme song. A little dance break first. Always we want to dance, celebrate life. Splat, 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 splat. Serial. Turn it up, Luke. <laughs> oh, again, we got it again. We really like the song so much. I do too. Talk cereal. What? Cartoons will save the world, yo, and that's what we're talking about today. All things animation, all things uh, cartoons, all things having to do with one of my favorite animation companies in the whole world, Klasky Chupo. Shout out to Arlene Klasky watching at home right now. We love you. Creator of Rugrats and so many other amazing shows. And today we are talking about Splat, which is one of my favorite things to talk about. I get to voice Splat, and Splat is just awesome. And we're on Splat's Instagram today, like we like to do every talk serial and kind of explore all the amazing content that we're putting out weekly. We've got new episodes coming out every Saturday right here on the Splat channel. And we're going to kind of cruise through it all today, but we're going to start with a new episode after I bring in our special guest, Debbie. Is Debbie ready to join? We're working on that. Oh, we're working on having Debbie join. Well, maybe one week we'll also invite you all to join, and we'll, we'll pick a special surprise guest from our audience to join me and Wingman here on Talk Serial. Guru, do you want some water? Priorities first. Always take care of your Guru. He's thirsty, thirsty. Oh, where's my vegan cereal, Luke? You know, we're fresh out of vegan cereal. Oh, man. I, I ate it all. Yeah. <laughs> well, we don't have any vegan cereal today, but we were going to have a prop of like some non-vegan cereal, but I decided we could imagine uh, I had some cereal right here. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. What's your favorite cereal? What's your favorite vegan milk option, by the way? I want to know what your favorite vegan milk is. There's almond milk, coconut milk, hemp seed milk. What else? What else? What's one of my favorite? Um... Cashew milk, uh, oat milk, people love oat milk, but my favorite milk is probably almond milk. Every kind of matcha latte that I get is full of almond milk. I love it. But uh, yeah, cereal, vegan cereal with vegan almond milk is the best, yo. What's your favorite cereal again growing up? I remember I asked you all last week, but I want to know right now. Luke, what was your favorite cereal growing up? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh my gosh, I lived off of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. There were weeks straight, literally, like, I went through a binge of like all these different cereals, like, I lived off of, of uh, Cookie Crisp, right? You know the, is that, is that the name of it? Cookie Crisp. Yeah, Cookie Crisp. I lived off of Cookie Crisp for like a couple months or even years. I lived off of um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch was maybe the one I had the most, actually. I think I'm made of, of, of uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, like half of my body is, <laughs> although there's not a lot of nutrition in that. Are we at, ready to add Debbie Derryberry, our special guest? Let's see if we can find her. Debbie, we're looking for you right now. Are you all excited to have Debbie? She's an amazing voice actress, actress, just a mama, everything cool in the whole world. We're, we're excited to have her on. We're adding her right now. Here we go. She's got to accept. She's got to accept. Accept it. Oh, yay! Look at that. Look at that thing. Hi, mama. Hi there. How are you, Mr. Greg? Oh, we're having fun. How are Good you doing? Good to see ya. Who's that thing? This is Kiwi. He just had a bath and had his nails trimmed in the laundry room sink. He's a little pissed off right now. Oh, man. He looks really cute. It's one of Wingman G's cousins. Yeah, can you say hi to Wingman? Right there. That's your cousin right there. Wingman's oh. not sporting a... Kiwi got a mohawk. That's so cool. Is that natural? Yeah. We just shave everything except the the uh, center, and it, we don't color it. It just stays that way. He's so cute. <laughs> we wow. both got cuties. What's his favorite cartoon to watch with you? Jimmy Neutron. What? Yeah, he likes Jimmy Neutron a lot. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> what, about his about, favorite, what about his favorite uh, Arlene Klosky creation cartoon? Well, he likes watching Auntie E.G. on Rugrats a lot. Oh, yeah, who doesn't? But yeah, he Mama really, Jesus. really loves RoboSplat. Yeah. Speaking of RoboSplat, tell everybody what you do on RoboSplat. Oh, I'm Robo Splat's little brother, Digital. And I like to make music and put it on YouTube. You're, you're too talented, girl. <laughs> no, you are. Actually, we, uh, 
before we get into the show even deeper, I want to actually play this next uh, new episode of Splat that came out on Saturday. Let's watch it together. Have you, you seen see it yet? Kiwi? All right, Kiwi. Wingman, we're going to watch. Uh, yeah, we're going to explore Splat's Instagram, but today we're going to watch right off the bat. Splat the Splat My awesome dictionary full of words I invented. Using a sentence, if you always wanted to learn Martian, check out my Splatinary and learn Splat Talk instead. Splatinary. <laughs> I love it. Splat Yay! Because, you know, as you know, all these cartoon characters that we get to play with kind of have their own language. You know, they have their own um, meanings for things. Like with Beast Boy on Teen Titans Go, I've literally created my own style of speaking my own language the words mean different things to be boy same thing with splats so we created a whole splatinary so those those kind of things are going to be rolling out in our new episodes what about with some of the characters you've created what are some of like the like does jimmy neutron have some special ways to, to to say words and meanings for things you know um i was um actually watching an episode last night because um i still think it's a great cartoon but yeah. i'm i noticed you know whenever he invents stuff it's um and now Presenting the new, he has that like that presentational thing on everything he does, and of course, I guess after all these years, it's kind of seeped its way into into my vocabulary, and um, so <laughs> I find myself doing that a lot, you know. And I'll be talking, and I'll be like, "Wait a minute, that sounds like Jimmy Neutron." Yeah, I mean, we become these characters, and I'm so grateful because, you know, it, th that's one of my favorite things about cartoons is the innocence. I really feel like. So that splat, there's our theme song again. DJ Luke in the background, he can't get enough of that splat intro song. Love um, it. But yeah, one of my favorite things about cartoons is that the, the innocence that comes through, the way it lifts our spirit up, and especially in these weird times that we're going through right now, cartoons really, you know, change things for you, make life more positive. It's like a therapy session every cartoon I watch, and especially when I'm making cartoons. You know, do you get yeah. that same feeling when you're making cartoons, how, how much it's a, such a healing thing for you? It, it takes you away and it, um, I mean, it doesn't make all the important things less important. Everything in this world right now is so majorly important, but it is important to be able to relax and to listen and to watch things that make you happy. And um, I think a lot of cartoons actually have really excellent messages as well, you know, and it's, it's kind of couched and framed in a way that makes it easier to understand and, and simplifies it all. And that's what I love about Splat, too. This cartoon is very much about family values, teaching great, really good lessons. Even though you annoy me as my little brother on the show, I love you so much. You do. You're so <laughs> kind to me, even though I drive you insane. All the time I make you crazy, and you say bad things about me really nicely. Yeah, yeah. And we've got an amazing family, which I think at some point soon, everyone's going to be introduced to Splat's entire family. My mom is, a, I believe... Um, I can't tell you. I'm not going to tell everybody yet. Let's actually, real quick, let's cruise on the Instagram real quick. It's one of my favorite things to do because there's so much cool stuff to look at on Splat's Instagram. Luke, let's go ahead and pull up the uh, Instagram. And I'm going to go ahead and close my eyes and point at a, at a clip. All right, here we go. All right, ready? Oh, scroll down so there's more options. I'm going to close my eyes. Ready? Oh, cool. Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> Who? Goku. Oh, Goku. Let's do another one. Oh, Dragon Ball Z. All right. All right. That's cool. See, Splat's got all the coolest friends in the whole world. All right. I'm closing Excellent. my eyes. Love Ready? that Sean Schimmel. Closing my eyes and I'm pointing. Did I even point right? Uh, Wingman's in the way. Uh, nice corner. Who's that? The bunny from Toy Story 4. Man, Splat's got really all the coolest friends in the whole world. Holy moly. Is there another video we could look at? We could just pull it up because my pointing. I think this is. Uh... We have some questions. Oh, let's go to questions then, and then we'll go back to uh, exploring exotic splats snail. Well. Exotic okay. snail. What are some of your favorite healthy meals? Debbie, what are some of your favorite uh, healthy meals, Mama? Let's see. Last week I made some really amazing vegan nachos. I took some corn tortillas and cut them up and fried them in some um, uh, safflower, sunflower seed oil, and um, well, actually just brushed them, put them in the oven, and then I made my my seven layer dip. Um, actually, it was seven layer dip, and I um, put uh, Beyond Meat, which I really like. I know it's it's be, it's really tasty though. It's and vegan. I made yeah, some, anything um, that's not eating uh, a dead animal, you're good. Yep, 
made some, uh, got some dried refried beans and made those up Guatemalan style and wow. had a lot of garlic in them. Had some vegan sour cream, some salsa, tomatoes from the garden, some green onions, it, red onions. It was so good. We just dipped in those chips and that was dinner. Oh my gosh, that sounds so yummy. It was right, so religion? good. Well, my, How about you? My favorite vegan or just meal in general is my superfood salad, the Sipe superfood salad, which you can learn how to make on YouTube. But it really is a famous salad and it's my staple salad. It's, I have it every day, sometimes twice a day. And it's, um, it's full of spirulina, kale, all the yummiest ingredients. I have, I have got the flavor down perfectly and it just makes my mouth water thinking about it. What it else is make, in it? It also makes you feel so good. That's, that's one of my favorite things about eating healthy. What, what, what else is in your salad? Uh, spirulina, garlic, cayenne pepper, um, nutritional yeast, onions. Um, I, I'm very much into spice, so I put a lot of habanero. Um, the most amazing, like unfiltered, uh, like organic olive oil, pumpkin seed oil. Um, again, a lot of spirulina, um, cumin. And, and then it's all about massaging the salad. With yeah, you kale, gotta massage that kale, right? Kale, kale. When only, only kale, though. Only kale you wanna massage. You get to a really lot. get in there, and your fit, your hands are all green after, and you can lick them, which is cool. Let me but tell no. you how I, um, I have a kale plant outside, and I pick a lot of kale. You gotta wash it a lot. But yeah. um, after I massage it, I massage it in some olive oil, and then take some lemons off the tree, and massage in the lemon juice as well, and put a little spicy salt on it. It's so tasty, and then you can yeah. add anything. Yeah, so I missed those ingredients as far as telling you what is in it. Uh, I had lemon, um, apple cider vinegar, and nice. then you massage all together. It's the best, I'm telling you. It, it tastes so good, you feel so good. But what about cereals? I mean, what did you grow up on? What was your favorite cereal? Me? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm at the mercy of whatever my older brother wanted. You know, back when I was young, it was Cap'n Crunch and um, Frosted Flakes. Frosted Flakes was my favorite. But I always liked uh, oatmeal with maple brown sugar, too. Mm. What about now? What's your favorite vegan cereal? Do you have one? Oh, vegan cereal? Probably oatmeal. We get organic oats, and I do a cold soak overnight and um, add some uh, nuts and, um, like, walnuts and pecans and, um, some sliced, uh, chopped up apples and I leave it, I put it in there at night. And then in the morning, I just mix in a little soy milk or, uh, cashew milk and, um, some agave and some sliced bananas. It's so good. Yummy, 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 yummy. Do you have any more questions out in the audience for me and Debbie right now? Anna Narwhal wants to know what Michelangelo's favorite cereal would be. Michelangelo's favorite cereal is, uh, Pizza Crunch. <laughs> I don't know, I just made that up. I'm sure. That's a good one, crunch. good one. That's actually a good cereal to kind of develop, like a sweet pizza crunch. Sounds kind of gross, but. Right, and you can have all kinds of varieties. Like you could have, you know, um, the margarita pizza mm. cereal. And you could have like pepperoni pizza <sighs> cereal. I think we're onto something, savory cereal. Yeah, I'm getting a little just sick thinking about it, but I think it could go. No, no, like instead of milk, it's like uh, marinara sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Gross. It oh, wait, Chris, Christian on, wants on, to know. On Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the show, like, Mikey eats some crazy stuff. Like, I'll eat a piece, a slice of pizza that's been behind the couch for a couple of years. It's got all kinds of fungus growing on it. And, uh, Sweet. Which can be fun. Really nice. That's beautiful <laughs> to think about. From, uh, while you're being creative with your cereal, Christian Hernandez wants to know what inspires you to, to create. What inspires you to create, Mama? Um music uh yeah. silence um just my natural me i've been writing songs since i was nine years old i pull out my guitar and the thing with me is that i feel like i have to finish all my chores before i can go play and play to me is playing guitar writing a song singing harmonies which is hard because i can't be around anybody right now um well, but you anything know you know we're gonna have to ask you to play a song for us. Do you have a guitar near you? I do. Well, let me grab the ukulele. It's smaller, and I'm in the Oh booth. wow! So this let is me put Kiwi down. Talk cereal. Last Hold week, on. last week, E.G. Daily played us a, a beautiful song on our right. piano. Every episode of Talk Cereal, we're gonna be playing live music with our uh, our guests, and I'll play you some at some point too. Debbie's gonna jam us a song, which I'm really excited about on our ukulele. Let's oh, see if the, the guitar's so big in here. 
Let's see. I haven't prepared it, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's a song I wrote when I was nine years old. My dog's my buddy, my dog's my buddy. All she ever does is eat and drink, sleep and bark, tear things apart. She plays on the kitchen floor, but that's what I got her for. Yeah, that's what I got her for. Wow, that's a good jingle. Thank you. Well, it has a whole song and a lot of verses, but you know, for Insta Live, there you go. And look at this ukulele. This is a this is an 85 year old Martin ukulele my mom I had when she was 10. That's beautiful and you play it so well. That's oh, awesome. We should you. jam there. Have you ever written any songs for cartoons that you're on? Not ones that I'm on, but I have on my YouTube channel, I have my Baby Banana uh, preschool channel and Baby Banana has a lot of videos for preschoolers and those are all my songs for my cartoon of Baby Banana. How cute. I'm gonna have to yeah. check that out. And yeah, that's I on got, your Instagram? Um, um, it's on my YouTube channel. I oh, have okay. three preschool albums out that, uh, actually Baby Banana went to number one on the charts, the song did, but what? there's lots of other Baby Banana songs. Speaking of on the charts, I, I Splat loves music. He's got a, a DJ that remixes a bunch of his vocals into songs. I would love to actually pull one of those up on our Instagram page right now. Do we have one of those, Luke? DJ Luke? I want to see that. Yeah. Hit it. Oh, yeah, look at yeah. people are loving our Robo, Robo Splat. Yeah, people love Robo Splat. It's just the beginning. It's so exciting that we've got so much new content coming out on this Instagram channel, Robo Splat's Instagram channel, every week. Uh, Saturday's new episodes. And isn't there a, another drop every week, too, Luke? Saturday? Every weekend. Every weekend. Yep. I think somebody was asking where they watch it. You can Somebody's watch asking. it on at Robo Splat. On at Robo Splat. Right here. Right here, y'all. You're at the place. You You're are at the, the place. right place, peoples. So speaking of Plasky Chupo, I grew up watching Rugrats. And, uh, you know, E.G. Daly was on our show last week. And, right. And Plasky Chupo is just so iconic and has created so much magic. Do you have a, a, a favorite Plasky Chupo moment in your life, whether it was watching something or meeting Arlene or, or, or being a part of the Plasky Chupo world? Gosh. I remember some really fun sessions back with Christine Kavanaugh and um, Ege. Yeah. This, it was the gang, you know, back when uh, Dana Hill, bless rest her spirit. How do you say it? Rest, her, rest in peace, Dana. Yes. Um, they're actually, they had to recast her for the, oh, I can't say that. Um, yeah. I can't say something. No, I was going to say it. <laughs> Oops. Um, you know, it's all pretty great. Yeah. The whole the whole Rugrats class key thing. I like to driving down Highland. Is it Highland or La Brea? That's, seeing the building. Yeah, if anybody's ever in Hollywood, drive by the Klasky Chupo building, you'll see Splat on the building. You'll see uh, another one of the properties Klasky Chupo's making right now too, called Ali Mongo, um, which is a really cool cartoon too, which I hope at some point gets to roll out and everybody gets to enjoy that too. And uh, yeah, it's just, we're just infinitely inspired, right? Uh, as far as creators. Always. But you didn't tell me what, what inspires you to be creative. Oh, Wingman. He's How old really Wingman? My, he's really my inspiration for everything. I take shelter under his lotus feet. I'm always at the right place at the right time with the right people. Wingman G is in every recording session, every business meeting. We went on 60 flights together last year. He's got comic books coming out. Oh, he's already, he already has a couple books. He's got the Wingman G Foundation where he's paying for adoptions for people that if you want to adopt a dog and you don't have money to do it, Wingman will pay for it. 
He's feeding all the dogs in Venice Beach, all the food for the for the homeless people. So he's Sounds doing like he's got a lot of love. He's doing amazing works. He's actually in the DC universe now. I can't tell too say too much about it because it's not it hasn't come out yet. But let's just say Beast Boy's got a dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go Wingman. Yeah. So I mean, I'm inspired by everything in my life. You, my friends like you, and and Arlene Klasky and all the different companies we get to work with, because it's all my family, everyone. So I'm infinitely inspired by everybody and what's going on in our world, because we really get to make a difference with our art. Art, you know, creativity is the greatest rebellion. So I love using cartoons to share the, the messages of, of unity and, and creativity and love and respect. And, and like Teen Titans Go, for instance, we do a lot of weird episodes, but every episode that we do, every episode we do, has a beautiful message inside of it. Even if we're doing some weird episode about like pyramid schemes or something, we teach, we teach, we teach through comedy and through and through cartoons. I, that's why I say cartoons will save the world because I really believe it transcends all races, all religions, all, all all kind of any kind of thing that separates us. Cartoons bring us together. And music, music and cartoons together. That's why I love I love making music for cartoons. I get to make a lot of the music for Beast Boy on um, Teen yeah. Titans Go. Yeah. Wow. There's. I mean, there's all kinds of cartoons. I have one, uh, season four of F is for Family is coming out June 12th. And it's more of an adult cartoon. And it's uh, sometimes hard to watch and it's a little edgy. But at the same time, it, it can touch on subjects in a way that a live action couldn't touch on it. And it, um, it's educational in the sense that you can see how life was in the 70s and how great it is now and how different it is now and how much more loving and accepting the world is now than it was even as, as little back as the 70s. Yeah. But um, that's on Netflix if y'all want to watch F is for Family season four. Heck yeah, we're going to watch that. What about as a little a little Debbie? What was one of your favorite cartoons or your top five favorite cartoons as a little Debbie growing up? Well, again, I had a big brother. That means I didn't have control of the remote. I had to watch what he watched, but I did enjoy some of the what he watched. Um, it wasn't a cartoon, but 8 p.m. Friday nights, Batman was on. And so I enjoyed watching that because it was with my dad and I was doing things together. And then, um, of course, twice a year, we got to watch Wizard of Oz when it came on TV. You guys are like, well, isn't it on all the time? No, we only watched when it was on. Um, and then my brother watched Bugs Bunny and the Flintstones. And um, anything, and then you know the coyote, uh, oh, yeah. Wiley Coyote. That was pretty much it as far as what we could watch as cartoons. And then when I was a teenager, I really liked Jam is truly outrageous, truly, truly, truly outrageous. Do you remember Jam? Yeah, <laughs> that's so cute. What about you all at home? What was your favorite top five cartoons growing up, or even right now, your favorite top five cartoons? For me. My fa my top favorite five my favorite five cartoons growing up was I would say number one Ninja Turtles. I, I basically dressed up as Michelangelo every every Halloween, every birthday party at the roller skating ring. I really? had a turtle party, pizza party. I love Michelangelo so much. I love oh the turtles. Gosh. So to now play him and offer him this next generation has been very special and a and a great responsibility and a blessing. Um so Ninja Turtles. I really love DuckTales. I really a lot. I always vision myself jumping into big piles of money, <laughs> you know, big piles of gold, which would really break your neck if you really thought about it. But oh, Nikki, Nikki likes Sailor Moon. Oh yeah. Yep, right there. Oh, I'm a uh, Diana, oh, yeah. the cat in Sailor Moon. Yep, yep. I like Sailor Moon too. So my so the Ducktales, so Turtles, Ducktales, which I'm now on Ducktales which is cool. They, they actually wrote me a role, like basically they brought Greg Sipes into the show as a duck. So I play a hippie duck on DuckTales. Awesome. Um, my, another one that I loved so much was, huh, well, I would say Rugrats for sure. I, I was a little bit, I wasn't necessarily a little, little Greg, but I just loved watching uh, Rugrats because it was one of the only things on TV as well, which was a blessing to be able to like turn on TV and Rugrats was on all the time. Um, what else? I loved I loved the Smurfs when I was really really small. Did you? <laughs> I love Fraggle Rock, which was not a cartoon. Right, but, still you know, a good kids show. I have nine brothers and sisters, and most of them were older than me, so I got to actually get a lot of cool stuff that was even before I was born introduced to me as a boy because of it's the stuff that they they liked. So I was did you really... guys ever did you ever watch Zoom? 
No, it was not. Fox. It was like an educational show, kind of like Electric Company or Sesame Street, but it was really fun and groovy, and they did cool things. And um, oh, what about Harry Potter? Somebody. Anyway, Zoom was fun. Fox three five zero oh, 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 two one three four. No, but yeah, Killer Zoom Tofu says there's no way I could choose a favorite. Uh, <laughs> it it is really hard. It is really hard. I'm scrolling through here right now. Teen Titans season six. Oh, is it coming? Yeah, it's gonna come at some point. Don't tell anybody. Uh, please, Greg, please tell me you are the real Ghostbusters fan. Oh, of course I was a real Ghostbusters fan, for sure. Ghostbusters fan. Um, Scooby-Doo, of course, Scooby-Doo. So I'm actually, me and Wingman, I really feel like we're the, we're the new Scooby-Doo, but for Mother Earth. Like we're solving Mother Earth's, um, you know, you know uh, mysteries and crimes going on on Earth. Actually, that's kind of the, the, the backstory of our comic book series is we're like Scooby-Doo, but for Mother Earth. So yeah, I want to. I want to hear more about how you're feeding the homeless dogs in Venice. How does that go on? What goes on? How does that well, happen? Well, basically, Wingman's got a book series, uh, Wingman G, the Guru of the Gurus, and you can buy them on uh, gregsipes.com. And basically, the all all the money goes to basically buying food to feed the homeless dogs in Venice Beach, and anything left over is actually um, for for people. We're actually putting it together right now. It should launch in the next two weeks for the public. But if you want to have your uh, adoption fees paid for by wingman he will pay for your adoption fees which is nice awesome. so all like, the person, great. yeah yeah so wingman he's changing the world go wingman yeah he's the best dogs are the highest form of life on the planet they're the only animals on earth that will love you more than they love themselves wow yeah my dad taught me that i think my dog loves a good uh, bowl of dog food <laughs> what, what, what do you feed your dog <laughs> I feed him, uh, well, they get bored. So in the morning, they get some nuggies mixed with some organic wet stuff. But they really love pieces of carrots and pieces of yams. Although oh, yeah, Wing Wingman gets, see, I make him his food. He basically eats the same food as me, except I throw, him, I throw in there a little salmon for him, which I wouldn't, I don't eat uh, dead animals, but he's a killer. So I give him some salmon, and he loves yeah. it, he loves it, he loves it. Yeah, they, they love, love their, they me love their meat. Boys voice, so I'm going to do some Beast Boys. Yo, 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 Mama Debbie. Debbie, I love you, Mama. I love <laughs> you, everybody out there watching. I love Splat, yo. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> love it. Yeah. I love you. Thanks for being on the show, and thanks for playing. Oh, um, thank you. Is there anything else that uh, anybody wants to ask us before we wrap up the show here for today? And don't forget, every week we're here on Talk Serial, Monday at 11, so if you want to Keep tuning in. Please join us and spread the word. Share with everybody and watch new episodes of Splat every Saturday. We got some more oh, yeah. questions from the fans right there. Um, Dash will show. Well, that was a great bunch of people. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you this though. Also, for Wingman's food, I, I, and you could add this to, to any food, even if it's dried dog balls that you all buy for your dogs. Yep. Um, add spirulina, which is a superfood. So even if you're buying like kibble pour spirulina on top of it and add that's some the green you know, powder right yeah green powder which is chlorophyll because it all comes down to building healthy blood whether you're a human or a dog or a bird we need healthy blood and the way you do that is with chlorophyll oil and water so chlorophyll is green the green 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 in vegetables and spirulina is pure chlorophyll oil good healthy organic cold pressed oils like olive oil hemp seed oil etc cetera, etc cetera, coconut oil and really good water so make sure you're feeding your babies Healthy water, whether it's filtered or wingman gets spring water only from glass bottles. That's what he lives on. <laughs> but do what you can. Do the best you can for your gurus. And uh, and I'll tell you this: the purer you can serve your animal, the purer the universe will serve you. It's it's kind of like wingman has taught me to smile at the world, and therefore the world smiles back at me. And that's also what cartoons do for me. That's why cartoons really are my life, and I love making cartoons so much. And I'm so happy to be a part of this 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 community that we have you know you are a good man greg sites you're a good mama thank you go green everybody i think thanks that's for gonna, having me yeah we love you and we're gonna have you back on we want you to be a regular here on the show it'll be really fun and everybody's asking for us to do a duo together so we should do that too at some point okay we'll work it up all right that's what's up y'all peace loving animals we'll see you next time right here on talk cereal splat you know what Go check out Splat's Instagram. I know you're on there right now, but after this, go scroll through everything. It's so rad. And we'll see you next week right here. Peace, love Saturday, you. Saturday, 11. That's I mean, what's uh, up. Monday at 11. That's right. Okay, Later, y'all.